I started this role just recently, and uh, I can tell you that these first few weeks have been really interesting and stimulating to learn so much about this industry. Yeah, dear Stefan Kaminski, dear Jarek Stork, it's a great pleasure to be here. Um, from what I understand, this is the third time that we cooperate between the German electro-digital industries and you here in Poland. And it seems to be more important than ever to cooperate. If we think about how the EU has started this new century, then it was with Brexit. Um, so the EU certainly has been weakened and we should find ways how to increase our cooperation again. Uh, the moderator said earlier that they are big member states and small member states. That reminded me of a saying from the former commissioner from Germany who always said, well, there are a few small countries in the EU and there are a few member states who know that they are small. Germany certainly falls into the first category. I don't know where Poland belongs to. Maybe you, we can talk about this in, in the break. So, if we think about the cooperation, just maybe two figures. Poland right now is the fourth largest exporter into the German electro and digital markets. And Germany, in turn, has quadrupled its trade, its exports into Poland uh, since 2003. Now, we learned from uh, Jarek in particular about the many challenges around the Green Deal. And indeed, if we think about what our sectors can do, then this is basically all about electrifying and digitalizing our economies. And if we think about the, from my understanding, the um, key learnings, also from Jarek's report, then those two technologies will be crucial to do the trick. You may have remembered, or you may remember the figures that Jarek showed about the increasing energy demand. It all will need to be electricity. Electricity then from renewable sources. If we think about digitalization, I must say I was very much thrilled by the spirit that I felt uh, from uh, Martin Chichi. I hope the pronunciation is roughly okay. Um, I'm not so sure whether we would have the same spirit also from representatives of German authorities if it comes about um, explaining the benefits of a new technology. Um, and that for me would be the key request in our cooperation that we think how we can start a dialogue with, um, with all the people in the EU and beyond about the technologies, about the benefits, about the risks. Because I believe the main challenge in addressing all these um, needs is the political, the societal consensus on what we want to, for what we want to do. Um, one example is um, data privacy, data ownership, data use. Um, if we think about the coronavirus, it's obvious that digital technology, AI, can do much about tracking people who may be infected and then slowing the further, um, the further spread out of the virus. But the question is, is society ready to use these technologies? As a first good step, when I landed yesterday in Warsaw Airport 
I received a text message from the Polish Ministry of Health explaining me some ways how to properly um, behave um, in Poland now to do the utmost not to spread out further the virus. But again, we can do more if society is ready to do so. So, um, as also Doreen has said, um, it's all about uh, people-centered digital technology, uh, and that's again where we need the discussion among society. Because then we can uh, create much value to society if, if they accept. As ZVEI, as our German electro industry, we have just adopted guidelines on the use of data. Uh, for example, we say that um, certainly um, data, in particular um, data from people, um, should have a high protection status. At the same time, we also need to use data often then in an uh, anonymized way, because otherwise we cannot use the source of these data, for example, when it comes to um, predict uh, certain um, disease developments. So we have always this dilemma there. Um, and maybe then as a last um, thought, if we think about the broader AI um, potential, then we know that certain people in the Commission think about how to regulate AI algorithms. It reminds me a bit of what the chemical industry had to do 20 years ago with REACH. So it's a certain hierarchy of different levels of regulation. And I can only invite all ourselves to engage in that discussion and think about how we can also make proposals how to regulate, where to regulate uh, AI so that we can make the best use um, in a way that is accepted by society. Uh, we heard much about um, the Green Deal and about the uh, many contributions from this industry. We should go out, talk to people and should explain to them where these benefits are and again find then this um, consensus. As I said at the beginning, um, we are all small countries, um, so to embark on these big transformations, we need both, we need both fair competition, but also a very strong cooperation in particular within Europe. Thank you very much.